Hello my friends, my name is Ron. I'm glad to share with, with you today's word. We are going to continue the last episode, part four, Address for Success. I'm going to be reading from our the chapter, uh, Ephesians chapter six. I'm going to be reading with verse 18. And pray in the spirit on all occasions of all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert. I always keep on praying for all the saints. That's my discussion for today of the whole armor of God. Putting on the whole armor of God is prayer. For all things we talked about in previous episodes, episode 1, 2, and 3, was dressed for success by putting on the whole armor of God. And putting the whole armor of God equips us to fight against the flaming arrows of Satan. So we can overcome. It says earlier, and when you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. And that's what we're talking about today. The final part is prayer. For whatever we do, if we don't have prayer in our life, we miss the whole point. What is praying? Well, praying is when you talk to God. And how we need to talk to God every day. It's not just a one thing a day thing that you uh, thank God for your goodness and his mercy throughout the whole day to pray, meditate, think of the things that we want to tell God. We have personal needs in ourselves that we need to pray for. Strength, hope, encouragement, healing in our bodies. So there are many things we need to pray for ourselves. And that when not only ourselves, we need to be able to learn to pray in the spirit. Uh, praying in the Spirit is uh, not something I'm going to discuss today because praying in the Spirit is a much deeper uh, devotion to talk about. But we need to pray in the Spirit. We need to pray for all occasions, all kinds of prayers. We need to pray for one another. We know that we are in trying times right now and so many people that's hurt. When, when I read... Uh, my devotions, and I go online to Facebook, I see many people have prayer requests for touching someone's body, for healing. What I do when I come across those, I pray for them. Believing that Jesus is able, according to his word, by his stripes for ill, he is able to pray, to, to heal these people. And we need to pray for them. We know many people that has a lot of desperation in their life, that they just need something and they have nothing to hold on to. It's up to us to pray for them and encourage them. We pray that God to give us the strength, that we have a Holy Spirit flowing through our body. We are to use that anointing to pray for other people who are going through situations that we have already gone through and we have overcome. i think I got a couple of scriptures I'll leave to start off about reading about the prayer Matthew 7 verse 7 8 ask and it will be given to you seek and you will find knock and the door will be opened to you for everyone who asks receives those who seek find those who knocks the door will be open I have another scripture to tie into this one is John, First John 5, 14 and 15. This assurance that we have approaching God, that if we ask being think according to his will, he will hear us. And we know that if he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have asked of him. When we ask God to meet our request, we have to know that he can do it. But we need to ask prayers as according to his will. Many times it's hard to understand the will of God. We see things through a dark mist. God sees things from the beginning to the end. He has a plan for our life. And through prayer and through reading the Bible, we can understand God's, God's, God's plan. And the more we understand about praying, 
asked in accordance to his will. How do, we, how do we know God's will? Through reading the Bible. It tells us about the will of God, what he expects from us, the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's all written down for us in the Word of God. And we need to consider this, this and we need to pray. Pray that the Spirit of God will wash over us and through us that we can be a good example for other people. Prayer is kind of like a bank account. If you don't put in, you have very little to draw from. God is merciful, though. Sometimes we don't put in very much, but in God's mercy, He still helps us despise the very little time that we're in prayer and supplication. God is good, but we need to pray for one another and exercise for, And through this prayer life that you have, you grow stronger in the Word, stronger in power, as the Holy Spirit will lead you. There's a story of a man and a son. And there was roofing. There was a, a process of roofing the barn. According to the story, they had all the crops inside the barn, and the, a part of the roof on the barn collapsed. So the father told his son, "This week, got to get this done right away. For if it rains, the rain will produce mildew, and the crops are dry rot. And they'd be no good." I and mean, this is all we have, son, to take us throughout the, the rest of the year. We need to put the, par, the, the roof on. So they was up there on the roof, roofing. And all of a sudden, thunder started. Light and thunder and lightning all around them. And the, the thunder would come and the whole barn would shake and vibrate from the thunder and lightning. So the father said, well, son, this is just the way it is. There's nothing we can do about this. We have to just go inside the house. This is too dangerous for us to be out here. It's, I don't know. Let's go inside, son. So they go inside the house, and his son goes to his bedroom and shuts the door. And he's gone for about 10 minutes, and he goes out to his dad. His dad, we can go out now and finish the roof. The dad opens the window with the blinds, and it's raining on all sides of them. He says, but it's raining, son. How can, how can we do this? And the boy said, well, father, uh, he's, he's dead. I prayed to God. I prayed to God that he will allow us to finish the roof in the barn. He says, it's raining all around us, but not on our farm. So his dad goes outside and looks around. It's true. All around them, it's raining cats and dogs, as the expression goes. So it's raining, but not on the farm. So they was able to go out and finish roofing the barn. It's good to know that through prayer, what can be accomplished, and God loves us. There's nothing too minor to bring to God. If God can count the hairs on your head, which says, tells me so in the Bible, if he can count the hairs on your head, he's concerned about every aspect of your life. If you got a hangnail that's bothering you, bring to God. It's not too little for God to handle. No more than a heart attack. No more than cancer. Any other thing. God is interested in every detail of your life. If you come to him. You bring before him. Nothing is too small for God. Because God loves you. He loves you so much. So that's why he gave the son of the cross. To die for our sins. To have access to the father. So we do not have to be condemned. And so we do not have to go to hell. That we spend eternity in the presence of God and his angels. Nothing like to tell you a story about a preacher. The congregation filled the building, so they, knew they needed to build a new church. Much time and prayer and fasting, they finally had the means to build the church. And the church was completed. But they needed to have the building inspector come out and inspect the building and approve it before they could have opening services. Open services was to be within a two-week period. The pastor goes into the church, closes the doors, and he starts praying. He says, God, I don't understand it. Why? 
We got through all this and everything's got fine. You have blessed us. The building's completed. What's happening? Now the building inspector said the problem was with the building. The building was fine. He said, but you had no parking lot. The capability of the building to hold so many people you have to have an adequate parking lot. You do not have the adequate parking lot. You have a mountain behind you. Thus, you can now open the church to you have a, a parking lot to meet the demands of the church. So, Pastor, why, God, why? Help us, Lord. I don't know how. I don't know what to do. Just help us, Lord. And he prayed and fasted the whole entire day. Next morning, he was in the office of the new church his office praying and there's a knock at the door so he goes gets up and goes to answer the door and there's a man there in a hard hat a working man and he invites uh, the man in and the man sits down and says pastor we need some help right now from you pastor says what can I do to help you my church hasn't even opened yet. What can I do to help you? He said, Pastor, he said, I'm a contractor. We are, in the, we are in a building project right now. We need topsoil. That mountain behind this church is a topsoil that we need. We'd be willing to pay you a fair price for topsoil for that mountain. The pastor uh, looks at the contract you brought with him. And he signs the contract. After they negotiated, and according to no negotiation, the pastor says, okay, when can you start on this mountain, removing it? He says, I can start today. He says, not only will I remove this mountain, I will level it behind you, and I will pave it if you want. The pastor says, will you give me paint the parking spots? He says, absolutely. He says, when? He says, today. So he picks up his phone, his contractor, and makes a phone call. Within an hour, all kinds of tractors and trailers are there where the hauling uh, crew to move around the mountain. It took the, the crew about 10 days to complete it from beginning to end. After it was finished, it was finishing time to be, it was, un it was paid. The parking places were painted over. And it was approved by the building inspector so they could open when they wanted to and praise and worship the Lord and the God that they, you know, in the building that they intended to do so. These stories, they're true. It shows what we can through, we can through, through prayer. We need to continue to pray to God in all things, for all people, in all the ways. I appreciate meeting with you today. We pray that God will bless you. May you have a blessed week. Thank you for watching.